A woman was shot overnight inside her South Memphis home. Just a few feet away was her roommate who heard that attack. The victim was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Good afternoon, I'm April Thompson. Alex Coleman is out on vacation. As part of our commitment to a gun safe Memphis, we What'd you find out? Well, Greg, it was around this time exactly one week ago. The whole city went into lockdown, now inspiring leaders to focus on investing in change. The lift Luther Mercer is dedicated to supporting Memphis businesses. That usually means through loans and grants. But last Wednesday, he lent emotional support. There was a fear of what's happening. Um, especially when you had a shooter who was randomly going around. He says the financial impact is both immediate. They lost day of business. And long term. What impact does crime have on our local economy? I think we have to reverse that conversation. Poverty, economics has always played a role in crime. Mercer says if people want to feel safe, they should support investing in community services beyond law enforcement and criminal justice. We have to talk about jobs. We have to talk about mental illness. We have to talk about education, issues around homes and rents. It is kind of scary. For Ashley Hinton, that investment looks like safe transportation. The mother of four recently discovered her young coworker was walking a mile in the dark to get home. That didn't seem safe after the rampage and the Eliza Fletcher kidnapping. Being a mom and I just thought if that were my daughter, I'd want someone to help them. She posted about it to raise money to buy her a bike and safety gear. The response was amazing and it was immediate. She raised enough to buy more than one bike and is now working on other plans to help. A sign the community is ready to invest. The question becomes, what will that look like on a larger scale? This is obviously an ongoing conversation. We also reached out to the Chamber of Commerce today asking them what they think is the cost of crime in the city. They say they would rather focus on the positives, including historic job creation in the area. Reporting live downtown, Stacey Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3.